What's up everybody? This is your host Ricky with PTS, also known as the Paranormal Truth Seekers. Today I bring to you the first episode of a brand new series I'm calling The History of Paranormal or Paranormal in History. Today we're starting with one called the Oracle of Delphi. I do apologize if I butcher any of these words as they are sometimes kind of long and complicated. So I'm going to start. The Oracle of Delphi was located in ancient Greece at the sanctuary of Apollo in the town of Delphi. Situated on the slopes of Mount Parnas, the Oracle of Delphi was operated by a priestess known as the Pythia. The term Pythia likely comes from the ancient Greek word pytho, which means to rot, <laughs> possibly referring to the python, a serpent, or a dragon associated with that area. Now, the Oracle of Delphi was renowned for its divination process. The pythia would enter a trance like state, often induced by inhaling some fumes from the crevices of the earth and which believed to be connected to the god Apollo. These fumes likely contain naturally occurring gases, such as phenylene, that may have induced altered states of consciousness. People from all over the ancient world came to Delphi to consult the Pythia and seek her prophecies and advice. The questions could range from personal matters to matters of state, including military strategies and political decisions. The Pythia's responses were often cryptic and enigmatic. Sounds familiar. Notre Dame did the same kind of thing. Her words were interpreted by the priest the officials who would then provide answers to the seekers. Hey, seekers like me, paranormal truth seekers. It was then said that Pythia spoke in riddles and poetic verses, again, like Nostradamus, maybe a common practice back in those days. But in a way, I digress. And the interpretations were utterances could be subject to various interpretations, kind of like horoscopes. The Oracle of Duffy played a vital role in the shaping of political decisions and strategies in ancient, in ancient Greece. Leaders and individuals believed Apollo's wisdom was channeled through the Pythia, making her pronouncements highly influential. The Oracle of Delphi was associated with Greek mythology. This is where we get into the paranormal of history or history of paranormal. It goes back to these ancient times. But in a way, it was believed that Apollo's wisdom was channeled through the Pythia, making her pronouncements highly influential. The Oracle of Delphi was associated with Greek mythology, with the site being a supposed location of the slaying of the python, a serpent or dragon by the god Apollo himself. Now, this event was considered a justification for Apollo in a sanctuary in Delphi. The Oracle of Delphi continued for centuries, but it eventually faced decline with the spread of Christianity. Interesting. Now, that being said, the emperor Theodosius I ordered the closure of the pagan temples, including the sanctuary at Delphi. And that was in the late 4th century AD. Now the Oracle of Delphi stands as a historical testament to the influence of the paranormal on ancient societies, where a priestess in a translite state served as a conduit for the divine wisdom and guidance. It remains a symbol of the intersection of spirituality, mysticism, and politics in the ancient world. Now, if you found this interesting, give this video a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Maybe leave me some feedback on how I can bring some future videos on other historical paranormal stuff like this. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. That does help the YouTube algorithm push my videos out to a wider audience and give me enough subscribers that I need to hit my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers. With your help, the viewers like you out there, you can make it happen. So once again, if you like the video and know people who like this kind of stuff as well, share it with your friends and get them over to my channel and have them subscribe as well. In the meantime, keep an eye out for my next video coming out. So I'll be doing more of these histories of the paranormal. The next one's gonna be covering the Salem witch trials. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way YouTube lets you know when these new videos drop. And I will hope to catch you guys over there. Once again, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys watching, being a part of my audience as I grow, continue to improve, and hopefully give you guys what you want. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next show. You have a great night and stay spooky.